productive morning. I woke up at 7.30, had a super healthy smoothie, and then went out for a workout at the park where I saw some cute little ducks, and then went to the gym, and I'm feeling really good. I edited a daily vlog, and I have it uploading at the moment. I edited three daily vlogs yesterday and gave myself a migraine. Really, really bad migraine, so I felt terrible last night, and I just completely gave up on editing last night and decided to read. I started reading An Abundance of Catherines by John Green. It's a good book. I quite like it. I just have so much editing to do the next couple days. It's kind of stressing me out a little bit. Yesterday I used FaceTime for like the first time ever. I've had Apple products for five years or something. And I don't think I've ever used FaceTime. Maybe I used it once. I don't know, I just used Google Hangouts and before that I used Skype. So yesterday, yeah, I got to talk to somebody on FaceTime and it was really awesome. Now, I have to go run a whole bunch of errands. I have to pay my phone bill because I pay monthly. I get a text message saying like, okay, your bill is due today, essentially. I got that text yesterday. But because I had a migraine, I didn't go. So I don't think I even have cell service at the moment. I'm pretty sure if you tried to call me, it would not work. So I really need to go pay that and get my service back. Plus I need to buy groceries and stuff like that. Let's go. Just took care of my phone bill. So hopefully my phone works now because it definitely didn't earlier. I tried to make a call. Yay, I now have my phone back, woohoo. I just stopped at Best Buy because I'm gonna go in and see if they have a gorilla pod for my iPhone. I've been looking for one so I can do nice time-lapse shots and also one that I can put with this camera as well would be really cool. Hopefully I can use the same one. I don't know, we'll see. But I wanna see if they have one, otherwise I'm gonna have to order it online. But we'll go check. Well, that was a bust. Unfortunately, they don't have the Gorilla Pod that I'm looking for. They did have a selfie stick, which I'm considering. I don't know how I feel about the selfie stick, but the one that they had in there, I can use with this camera, my phone, and my GoPro. So that'd be kind of cool. I think at least with a GoPro, that would be, that'd be pretty fun. I'm gonna go to the mall now because I have to pick something up from Hot Topic that I ordered. When I was in the mall, I found $2 on the ground and I went to the nearest shop and I said, hey, somebody dropped some money. And they were like, oh, you can go take it to security. And so I was about to go do that. And then they asked me, they're like, how much is it? And I said, $2. And they're like, oh, it's fine. Just keep it. You can wait around a while and see if anybody comes. But honestly, it's just two bucks and you did try to return it. And I'm like, okay. So I did wait. I looked around a little bit. Nobody came. And so I got to keep $2. Now I'm going to go buy some groceries. Got some good fruits. And then I used my two bucks that I found to buy a cookie. And then it was buy one, get one free for the cookies. So I got two cookies for free, essentially. It's a cool day. I am starving, so I'm gonna eat some of the cookie now. I actually got two new ones. Um, I got a sugar cookie, and then this one is cranberry orange. I'm gonna try some of the sugar cookie. Oh, that is good. That's quite nice. It's not too, it's not too sweet. I really like that. I just got my mail, but I'm not sure if I've ever properly explained this. I don't have an actual mailbox anymore because we go back and forth from Jordan so much. You have to have somebody check your mailbox every day and take your stuff out. So we just got rid of it all together and now we have a P.O. box. So we have to come down here like once a week and pick up our stuff. <laughs> Inside the P.O. box there was a little slip of paper that said, please go see like the clerk because there's a box that won't fit in your P.O. box. And I'm like, I didn't order anything, so I have no idea, but this is what showed up. It's a razor. It's a men's razor. It says, happy 18th birthday, so I'm assuming this is addressed to my brother. It is a razor. That's hilarious. <laughs> this is so random. So the United States sure does love showing off its flag. This street is covered in flags. To be fair, it was just Memorial Day, which is where you celebrate all the veterans and people that have served in the military. So there were a lot of flags for that. I guess they just kept them up. But I have read where a lot of foreigners are like, the American flag is literally everywhere, which is true. They put it, they put it everywhere. It's all over the place. It's it. When I was in school, it was in every single classroom because you had to do the Pledge of Allegiance every morning. Which, I mean, in Jordan, they have like Jordanian pride and all, but I don't remember ever seeing that many flags. Just an interesting little factoid for you. I think I'm gonna try to do more of this, like, let's compare different cultures and different countries and stuff in my vlogs. If you're interested, let me know because I have experience in two different countries. Guys, the car in front of me has my other ride is a TARDIS.
there's a very good possibility that we will be seeing the fray this summer Jansen really wants to go to their concert I've already seen them they're incredible but it would be awesome if we could go see them again my grandma picked me up from my house and now we're going out to eat yeah. Okay, so these apparently are sweet and sour pickles. Yeah. So. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy. Sweet and spicy pickles. Oh, they're just spicy. You had the red. You had the red one. You got the red one. <laughs> I was like, yeah, there's, a, there's these little red things yep. down there. I was like, that's not that bad, never mind. Ooh. We're in Applebee's right now, and I have been complimented on my shirt twice and my hat once. It's kind of, kind of funny. just from the waitress. Oh, yeah. Yep, that's exciting. I'm really hungry, too. Every day or every day? Thank you for dinner. Getting washed, you're welcome, honey. I have to take half of it home because portion sizes are crazy. I am home once again. That was a delicious dinner, but the portion sizes in this country are massive, so I literally had to take half of it home with me. Oh, so I went grocery shopping and I bought these strawberries right here because they were on sale. Then my grandma comes and is like, hey, I got more strawberries for you, so look at all these strawberries. <laughs> But that's okay because I needed frozen strawberries for my smoothies, so I'll just wash some of these up and freeze them and it'll be all good. I also got a massive bag of kale and spinach, which is super tasty and it's gonna be good for me. I'm trying to eat as healthy as possible. Just get a lot of my greens in there. And then also since I don't eat a whole bunch of meat, I try to get my protein from other sources. So like I bought protein powder, but I also have like nut butters. This one is peanut butter. And this is strictly peanuts. There is literally nothing else in this but peanuts. That is the only ingredient on here. Dry roasted peanuts. That is it. That's all that's in there. And this one right here is almonds. This is an almond butter. I actually made this one in the store. They had the machine full of almonds and you just like press the button and out comes the almond butter. But that's the only ingredient in there. So it's super, super healthy. It doesn't have any added sugar or salt or oil or anything like that. All right, it's time to show you what I have purchased from Hot Topic. I got some pretty cool stuff that I'm super psyched about. Okay, let's start with this. This is the fourth Doctor Pop Funko keychain. How cute is he? He's adorable. And then I also got the 10th Doctor Pop Funko keychain. Now I bought these to use as keychains, but they're so cute that I don't want to. I just kind of want to leave them in their little boxes. Just started getting into Pop Funko. This is the only one I have, is the Dancing Groot one, which I love. And I'm not gonna go like crazy and buy a whole bunch of them, but I just think they're really cute little characters. And so I got the coolest one ever. It's the 10th Doctor Pop Funko Special Edition with the glasses, the 3D glasses, guys. It's a Hot Topic exclusive. It's so cool. Oh my god. I can't get over how cool this is. I love it so much. He's so adorable. I'm gonna unbox them on camera. Here we go. So let's start with the 10th Doctor. Oh my god, he's adorable. <laughs> Look at him. And he's got his little sonic screwdriver and his tiny little converse. Oh my goodness, you're adorable. Now we have the fourth doctor. So they also had the 12th doctor and the 11th doctor, which I would like to get possibly in the future, maybe for my birthday. I'm not going to buy it for myself. But I thought I really liked the fourth doctor. I thought he just looked really cool. Here he is. Oh, that's awesome. I am so excited for this one. <laughs> God, he's so cute. His little David, the little 10th doctor with his 3D glasses. Oh, this is too cute. Oh my God. Guys, I love it so much. I'm just so happy right now. This has been the greatest day. I found $2, I got a free cookie. I got this little guy in my life. Here they are. Oh, they're so adorable, I love them all. They're so cute. I gotta go to St. Louis in the morning tomorrow for a doctor's appointment, and then I think I'm gonna spend the whole day there. We'll have a little bit of an adventure and I'll bring you guys along with me. But I'm gonna end today's vlog here. Thank you for coming along. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! This is what happens when you go exploring. You find cool things.